Welcome to this pedagogy premiere on attunement. In this short video, we will explore the importance of attuned relationships in our education settings, the key principles of attunement, and ways that we can create attunement with our children and young people. We can think of attunement simply as tuning in, noticing what and how someone is communicating and responding sensitively and appropriately to their emotional needs. It involves communicating effectively, both verbally and non-verbally, that is, considering what we say as well as how we see it. Attunement is vital to building positive, nurturing relationships. Frequent and extended experiences of attunement are one of the most important requirements for healthy child development. UNCRC Article 12 outlines our legal imperative to uphold children's rights in relation to communication. There is international recognition of the influence which social and emotional skills have on personal and societal outcomes. Curriculum for excellence and getting it right for every child support and drive the development and promotion of positive relationships. Health and well-being is considered as the responsibility of all and works in partnership with the wellbeing indicators. Both require a holistic and connected approach to the wellbeing of the child at the centre. Our National Improvement Framework's vision of promoting excellence through raising attainment and achieving equity is reflected locally in Fife Council Education Children Services Plan. Empowerment, where decisions about children and young people's education are made as close to them as possible, and strength and collaboration are central themes for improvement. Through the Higgias series of self-evaluation frameworks, practitioners and young people are asked to consider, challenge practice and employ effective strategies to support the development of positive relationships. Furthermore, the GTCS and SSSC professional values and standards outline our responsibilities in terms of our approaches, but also the importance of modelling and explicit teaching of positive relationships. Attunement begins with the early interactions between a child and primary caregiver. This is the development of an attachment relationship, and both concepts are closely linked. According to John Bowlby, Attachment is the lasting psychological connectedness between human beings. We are born ready to connect and communicate with others. Primary caregivers who are attuned to their child, in other words, responsive to their child's needs, establish a sense of security within that child, promoting healthy psychological development of the brain. This attunement and secure attachment creates a strong foundation from which a child can explore the world build positive relationships and learn. All of this helps the child to build a positive internal working model of the world. It's important to remember at this point, any adult in our early years or school settings could potentially be an attachment figure for a child or young person. Let's look at a wonderful example of both attachment and attunement in action. There are five key principles of attunement we should consider. Firstly, being attentive to another person, turning towards them and adopting a friendly body posture, looking interested and giving time and space for the conversation, wondering out loud and enjoying taking part in the discussion. Next comes encouraging, being warm and friendly, allowing appropriate wait time, being playful and listening attentively, and naming what we notice. For example, can we help the young person to name the emotion they might be feeling? Next is receiving, so nodding at appropriate times during the conversation and giving gentle eye contact, receiving their words with a friendly response and potentially repeating what we've heard showing that we're noticing them and offering a smile at appropriate times. Next is attuning together. So cooperating and taking turns in the discussion, having fun and also checking for understanding. 
and finally, guiding and supporting. Making suggestions to the young person if appropriate, providing help and offering choices, or giving information if appropriate. Let's now consider the key elements of an attuned relationship. Firstly, trust, being open and honest and keeping to your promises. Effective communication, so choosing the right time and the right place to have a conversation. Listening actively in order to understand. Considering different perspectives and being aware of non-verbal cues. Next, mutual respect, so being considerate to others and having awareness of the feeling of other people. Balance, giving to each other, cooperating and compromising. And finally, acceptance, valuing the differences of views and opinions. Attunement involves communicating effectively, both verbally and non-verbally. Remember, we need to consider what we say as well as how we say it. The following phrases can really help in difficult situations. I've heard what you said. Story writing seems to be a problem. What's our goal? Let's make a plan. Let's stop and think for a moment. You're upset at the moment and that's fine. I'm here to help you and we can sort this out. Everyone feels angry sometimes. Let's look at what you can do when you are angry. Education Scotland encourage practitioners to reflect on their attunement style, considering both strengths and areas for development. The attunement profile can be found in the appendix section of the Applying Nurture as a Whole School Approach Framework document. The aim of this tool is to support practitioners in their own reflections on their attunement style with children and young people in the classroom, playroom, nurture group or other settings. To support practitioners who are engaging in reflective practice with peers around their attunement style. To support professionals in their interactions with colleagues. This may be particularly useful for those in leadership or management positions. And finally, to support children and young people in their interactions with peers. Thank you for engaging with this pedagogy premiere. 